Alright, regarding this phone's performance on PUBG, as you guys can see the graphics settings I have set uh, are on HD and the frame rate was again high. Alright, I've been using this phone for the past 5-6 days and uh, to be very honest with y'all, I'm just going to give y'all an oral explanation about this. If you use this phone at the current settings I've just set right now, uh, the gameplay isn't that smooth. To be very precise, uh, I have faced a few frame drops here and there and a slight stutter as far as the gameplay on this phone is concerned. My <coughs> actual suggestion to y'all would be to reduce it to balance, graphic setting and medium frame rates. Uh, it does a much better job when you play it on balanced graphic settings and medium uh, frame rates. But I have to say one thing about this phone uh, that has been a little unusual. Uh, I'll tell you all how my usage cycle was. I was using this phone at its full volume and about 55 to 60 percent of its brightness. And believe me, you need to set this phone's brightness about 55 to 60 percent to actually get a feel of this phone screen. Below that, the, believe me, the screen feels dead. And this is how I tested all the other phones that I used previously. And I have to tell you guys one thing. One thing that has been unusual about this phone has been its battery drain. Uh, to be very frank, it's been pathetic. I've used it on both 4G and Wi-Fi and to be very very honest with y'all it didn't matter whether I was using 4G or Wi-Fi I was losing on an average anywhere between 27 and 30 percent of its charge within just one hour's time which was extremely bad in my opinion. The one thing I must say that is a huge plus point with this phone has been its heat management. I mean this phone handles heat better than any other phone in its price category. Outstanding heat management. I mean, believe me, even if you might be only able to play, say, three hours of PUBG on this phone on a single charge. But believe me when I tell you this, uh, it will be a mostly heat-free experience. So this is one thing that I've been really, really impressed on this phone. Uh, that has been the tremendous heat management. Overall, I feel PUBG plays decently uh, at the current uh, settings I've just set this phone at. Alright, this clip is just to give you guys an understanding of how this phone plays PUBG. Alright, regarding Asphalt 9, uh, the game played a lot smoother than PUBG. And to be very honest, I was a lot more satisfied using Asphalt 9, or rather playing Asphalt 9 on this phone. But I did face stutter even on Asphalt 9. It's not that I did not face stutter. I did face stutter on this game. But it was a lot more smooth and a lot more efficient than uh, what it was on PUBG. But I have the same complaint over here as well. The battery drain again was pathetic. I was losing anywhere between 27 and 30% of charge even while playing Asphalt 9 uh, for a period of about one hour. So this is something that you gamers need to be looking into uh, while playing these two highly intensive games. Apart from that, uh, a decent performance as far as Asphalt 9 is concerned. I'll just give you guys, or rather show y'all a short clip and give you guys an idea of how this phone uh, handles Asphalt 9. Alright, this is just to give you guys an understanding of how this game plays on this phone, Asphalt 9. You can see it does a pretty decent job but right now it's okay but you know after you play for about 15-20 minutes you'll start seeing a slight stutter here and there. So that's it for my gaming review of the Realme U1. Overall I feel this phone does a decent job when it comes to gaming. It's no gamer's phone for by any means and uh, the battery drain as I mentioned has been really really bad. And to be very honest, if you are looking for a great game phone that is great at gaming, I would suggest you all to skip this phone and buy either the Honor 8X or the Nokia 5.1 Plus, which uh, provide a much better experience at around a similar price range. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys really liked the video. If you guys loved the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys could give me a thumbs up. And if you guys are interested in following me from here on, I would suggest you all to go and hit subscribe to my channel, Living With Tech. And right after that, go and hit the bell icon so that y'all get notified with the latest and greatest videos I'll be putting up on YouTube from here on. And do make it a point to follow me on my social media. I'm there on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links to my social media are right down in the description. 
So as it is as always, I wish all of you a tremendous day ahead of you. Ciao for now.